or seven for weeks upon weeks. Mm-hmm. And literally, um, you know, you got to get the boxes through customs. You got to sort out transportation and storage of the boxes. And then you have to go out and find the people that need it the most because we're not chucking these off the sides of the trucks like they did in Pakistan with the loaves of bread. Right. We're finding the people that need it the most and we're handing it to them. We're going to show them how to set up the tents. And so when, you know, when people receive their tents, it's, you know, they're, they're just so grateful and so happy. It kind of reminds me of a story uh, when I was in Taiwan. Uh, there, was this, there was this guy, this uh, incredible individual. He was a, he was a leader of a small uh, village in the mountains and um, had such a big heart. He, every morning he'd come and meet our team and, uh, and take us around to you know, all the people that he wanted to make sure had tents. And every day uh, you know, he, he would actually work actively with us, mm. you know, found a piece of land and cleared it for us so that we could have a tent village. And every night he would go, and then in the morning he'd be back, and he'd have fruit for us for breakfast. Wow. And uh, after a couple of days, you know, we, we asked him where his home was, and he pointed to a piece of rubble, and he said, well, that's my home. And I said, well, we're going to give you a shelter box. And he says, Alan, I, I, don't, I don't want anybody else, I don't want to have a shelter box. I want to make sure that everybody in my town has one before I ever get one. And I said, well, I have enough. I can get you one. And he says, well, there's more people in my country that, that need your help. I'll survive. I'll make it. And I said, Mm-mm. <laughs> you're going to get a shelter box. And uh, in, in Asian countries, it's, it's a lot of times it's, it's the men that take care of their elderly mother. And he had an elderly mother that he had to send about two hours away um, to another town to live with, uh, with his sister. And, it, you know, it was something very important for him to, for someday for, to bring his mother back to where they'd always live, their ancestral home. Wow. And when we told him he was going to get a tent, he called um, his mother on the phone and cried and said that she could come home. Wow. wow. And so, mm. I mean, it, mm. if that doesn't give you goosebumps, I don't know what it would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Powerful, powerful story. And, and just putting myself there and imagining that, and imagining what it must feel like and look like is just remarkable. The Just to let folks know... Um, the box itself is, is, is a unit. And Alan, how much does one of those things cost? If people were to donate, what, what's the, what, what are people shelling out to, to fund a box? Sure. Um, each box is, is $1,000, and that covers the cost of everything inside the box, yeah. shipping it where it needs to go, and also sending a team of volunteers, usually four per consignment of boxes, mm-hmm. um, to hand deliver those boxes to the people that need it the most. And every box has a tracking number so that the donor knows exactly where their donation went. Mm, That's fantastic. And so for folks here in in the audience, shelterbox.org, you can uh, just go there and there's a donation page. Of course, we'll be taking, if you prefer to donate here in the world, you'll see a couple of rotating PayPal boxes here. Or anything that you click on that will let you pay here. If it's in Linden's, we'll take 100% of that and throw it towards Shelterbox at the end of this. Um, so, Alan, um, you know, what is, what is uh, going back to my list here, um, yeah, uh, the, the situation in Haiti is what, what has uh, people kind of concerned, and, and gosh, there's been so much disaster going on in other places in the world. How do you guys manage across natural disasters? Is there some kind of triage system or, you know, how much are you doing for Haiti now or versus how much are you doing for, uh, for heck, who knows, Iceland is blowing up right now. Sure. You know, this year has been absolutely crazy. I mean, last year in total we, we responded to 26 disasters. This year, halfway through the fifth month, we've already responded to 10. And so, you know, we're, it's been a busy year, and, and, you know, a lot of these disasters, especially Chile and Haiti, uh, and even China, they're just, you know, large disasters that need large-scale response. And so to answer your question, a lot of times it, it's really our partnership with rotary clubs around the world. Um, Shelterbox is the largest rotary club project in the world. Mm-hmm. And so in many cases, um, you know, for example, in Haiti, I mean, Haiti um, uh, Rotarian officials gave us a call and said, help, you know, we, we really need help. And this was minutes after the earthquake. Really within 15 minutes we knew we already had a team that was ready to go, um, you know, that had already been to Haiti before, who had contacts, ro- rotary contacts. And it was really the rotary, Rotarian to help us get boxes through customs and are really our kind of eyes and ears on the ground before we ever get there. Um, 25 minutes after the earthquake in Haiti, CNN had called and said, what's Shelterbox going to do for, for Haiti? And I mean, wow. it, was just, it was just so quick after the disaster that 
I mean, the response mechanism it had already taken place. I mean, and, and that's how it is. You know, you, you can, you know, copy and paste that to just any, any disaster that we respond to. I mean, literally, we're, we're in country usually within 24 to 48 hours. So you must have, so you have a store of these boxes, you get a call, and you guys mobilize, and you run to wherever in the world the things are going uh, badly. And, and Shelter Box is an organization that was uh, originated in the UK, is that right? That's right. That's where our international headquarters uh, still stands. Mm -hmm. um, there's about 11 other, or 10 other affiliates around the world, UK being one of them. Mm -hmm. But uh, all of the boxes are packed in the UK. They're, they're packed, and in, in, uh, it's pretty, a it's pretty awesome story in that uh, the local community where Shelter Box is housed, I mean, it comes live. When they hear of a disaster that Shelter Box is going to respond to, people just drop everything, go to the warehouse, and volunteer to pack boxes. Wow. Grandmothers next to, to children, next to lawyers all together just packing shelter boxes so this is they in some in the mission so this is in some city in london or in 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 the uk in yeah in, in cornwall england that's correct in cornwall england and then mm -hmm. the local community there disaster happens they open the doors and people flood in to to pack, pack boxes, boxes. Oh, that's, that's right that's so cool. at any given point in time we have enough aid uh, in the uk for about fifty thousand people in addition to that, we have boxes stored all across the world in strategic locations so that we can get there quickly. Yeah. When I was in Taiwan, my boxes came from Singapore and Dubai. Oh, I see. Um, in Haiti, our first boxes came from Curacao and Panama. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, w we've got you know stores all around the world so that we can deploy it as quickly as possible. Oh, that's and so great. That, that's part of the magic to what it is that we do. And you said, you described earlier, for those folks who may have just arrived recently, talking to Alan, Monroe, who's the communications manager for the uh, for Shelter Box USA. Alan, the, the contents of the box, um, you, you went through that pretty quickly earlier. I just kind of want to go back to that for a second. It's got a sure. tent in there. It's got stuff for kids. It's got you know water purification. What are what are the what are the contents about? Sure. Yeah. Uh, the star of the show is the ten person tin. We have uh, ground sheets. Um, you know, waterproof ground mats. We have blankets. Uh, we have mosquito nets. We have a basic tool set, you know, with a hoe head and a trenching tool and basic things that family would need. Uh, we've got um, stainless steel cookware. We have a cooker. Um, uh. We have various types of cookers depending upon what disaster we go to. We have a children's activity pack, and we have water purification. Uh, our water purification system is pretty amazing in that it lasts for two years, a minimum two of, of 15,000 liters over the course of its life, and it will purify um, about 20 liters in an hour, and you can pretty much pour Coca-Cola into this water purification kit, and clean, pure, tasteless water will come out. Wow. Yeah, wow. It's, it's pretty amazing. I might actually prefer that over Coke. <laughs> 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 wow. That's great. That's great. So 10-person tent, and so you, 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 people take them for a family, I guess, or people take them for individuals, or, or that's your call? We try to keep them. family units intact. Yeah. I mean, yeah. our goal is, again, to provide that dignity, the fact that a family can close the door to their home, you know, because their home was, was destroyed. And, and, you know, what, what would you need to get yourself back to normalcy and to get yourself back on your feet? And that's really what it is that we provide, you know, all the, all the kit and, you know, everything that goes into the box. It's just basic stuff. But it's that collective um, box and all of its contents, and it, it's you know it's really thought out what it is that we do, and it it, it uh, for all the places that we've responded to, I mean it really makes a difference for for some people between life and death. Right. Fantastic. So, folks, I'm going to inv invite the audience to text chat in any questions you have for Alan uh, at uh, Shelter Box. And Alan, I'm going to ask a, 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 a I guess a, a kind of a, a strange question. Um, what's the what's the most exciting moment, if you can think of one, that has happened for you since you've been involved in Shelter Box? Probably um, the most exciting moment is, is you know it's really every day that I come to work because it you know and it sounds kind of cheesy but it's not I mean it's really from the bottom of my heart that every day I come to work I know I'm affecting somebody positively somewhere in the world and that's. You know that's the the fire to to keep me going. I mean, really, it's you know every day I come in, it's something new, and it's you know we're always increasing the number of people that that we're helping. And in ten years to to be part of an organization that's helped shelter a million people, that's something to be proud of. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. And that, you know, we're not, stu- we're, not, we're not done. I mean, our goal is to shelter half a million people each year. And so far this year, I mean, we're close to sheltering 200,000 people. So, I mean, we're well on our way. Wow. And, but the thing to note is at the end of the day, that's still not enough. There's still many people displaced um, that, you know, shelter box can't assist. And that's mm-hmm. why it's so important to have groups like you to help, uh, you know, spread the word about what it is that we do and, and help support our cause. It's certainly our pleasure. Folks, up on the stage next to my avatar, you'll see a picture of uh, Alan Monroe, who's joined us from uh, down in Florida on uh, a lovely Friday afternoon here on the east coast of the U.S. Uh, Your questions, please, just type them in, and I'd be happy to communicate those over to Alan. Um, And, uh, Alan, just to let you know what's going to happen next, we're going to hear from Mia Raban and uh, perhaps Sequoia Nightfire, two of the Project Tense founders, um, and then uh, after that, we're going to uh, uh, we're going to hear from a band, uh, a live band from Japan, folks. You guys oh, yeah. are going to go nuts for Gago Band is going to uh, do a big program for us here. And uh, then Mia Rabanne will have a few words to speak. And then uh, Tamara Sands, Tamara Sands, another live performer, is going to. Uh, come on stage after Gago. Um, so we've got a real program lined up for you. Uh, lots of things going on. Any questions for Alan, though? And I'll give you a minute. Uh, and if not, then I'm going to turn it over to Sequoia here in just a second. Okay. I don't see any questions coming in. Alan, you're going to have a few minutes back on your Friday afternoon. Uh, Alan, thanks so much for joining us today, and I will follow up with you by call or email on what comes of this uh, fantastic event we have set up here at the the Tents for Haiti Expo. Alan, thanks a ton. Awesome. Thanks so much for having me. It's been a, a real pleasure, and I, I look forward to seeing any kind of snapshots that you guys can provide. I wish I could be there. I wonder if anyone in the audience can provide a few snapshots. If you take some, throw them on uh, Cotton Thorn, and we'll, I'll make sure he gets them. Uh, Alan, there's lots of appro- applause coming through, some appreciation from everyone, uh, and shouting out how much they appreciate what you and Box are doing. Uh, So thanks very much, Alan. I'm going to hang up and uh, turn off the broadcast here in 3, 2, 1. Mia uh, and Sequoia, um, I will uh, turn it over to one of you um, to uh, talk about the Project Tense group.
鉄骨の中心点の。だから、ひょんちゃんに気になったよ。あ、めっちゃ怒ってた。鉄骨のそこや
set the stage for the Gago band. Uh, Sequoia and Mia, um, if you, there are any final uh, comments here? Um, yes, Sequoia, the Gago band. Uh, Mia or Sequoia, anything to add about the Gago band? <laughs> yes, if you uh, folks in the audience have not seen these guys perform before, you are in for a massive treat. I recommend, highly recommend, setting your uh, world to midnight here. Um, and uh, Gwinnett uh, Ryder will quickly be uh, resetting the stage in just, a, just two minutes. I'm going to clear myself from the stage and let her do her magic. And thanks uh, to everyone, especially the